All right, hello everybody, this is Zeno. I am now finally deciding to hit record and do some flash animating tutorials. I apologize about the massive delay between that one blog video and this video because right, you know, during that video my my Turtle Beach uh my Turtle Beach headset broke, which is the only good mic I have, so now I am just relying on this crappy webcam mic and I was going to wait till I buy a new mic to do this so it would sound more professional, but I kind of just thought, screw it, I'll make it anyway. I'm pretty sure you guys won't mind, you're more about the animation part anyway. So we'll just dive right in. Alright, so first you, what you're going to want is a version of Adobe Flash, of course, and in my opinion, you should use a program like Adobe Fireworks because what we're going to learn today is how to import a preset animation into Flash. Now, for Adobe Flash for me, I use ActionScript 2.0 because back then when I first learned animation, well, Adobe Flash, I learned it on Macromedia Flash 8 which used ActionScript 2. And when I when my when I went to my uh, high school and they had Adobe Flash CS3, they had ActionScript 3 and it was a completely new like scripting language I did not know. So I just I just stick to 2 personally because it's easier. So we'll dive right in, open up the file. Um, my layout is a little bit different compared to some other people's. I switched it back to the Macromedia style because usually the frame, the timeline will be on the bottom. But anyway, um, what you're going to want now, before we even start this, is you're going to want to open your GIF maker is what I'm going to call it. Mine is Adobe Fireworks. And since this is mostly going to be a sprite animation tutorial, not a regular animation because I have no skill, and therefore I use sprites to animate everything and take the easy way out. I don't know where I was going with that, but we'll proceed to um, we'll proceed to go into a sprite sheet you're going to want to animate. I will do a Sonic Battle one because everybody likes to make Sonic fighting animations, like myself. That is backgrounds, not characters. And I will open up Sonics. Now, these should be provided into the description below. I did have it uploaded on my old tutorial file. So, you should be able to get these files and use them directly. But first, we're going to dive into this, the most simple animation. Now, if you hold Control and scroll after you've selected something with the Select tool here, you can zoom in on what you've selected. I'm just saying that so you guys can do this and get used to it because I'm going to be doing all these quick shortcut methods a lot and I don't want you to fall behind. But uh, now, we will want to get into the animating part. So make sure you still have that marquee tool, that's what apparently it's called, selected. And we'll do Sonic's Idle Stance animation. This is pretty much going to be a carbon copy of my old tutorial animation. I'm just kind of revamping it so it can fit along with the future parts that I'm going to make. So first what we're going to want to do is take him and we're going to want to copy or cut him. I cut him because then I know I actually copied him and he is out of the canvas so you don't get confused with animation at all in the future. And the shortcuts for that would be Control c to copy or Control x to cut him. And then what you're going to want to do now is open a new document. For that, that would be Control n This will pop up. Make sure that this little button here says transparent. This is a big key because we don't want no white background or custom background. Don't care about the width or the height. The dimensions don't really matter. Just make sure it's on transparent and click OK. Now we're going to zoom in and we're going to paste them into the canvas. Right here is where things are going to start getting a little tricky. Now the way I've laid out fireworks for me I have put this area over here called states. The states is what you're going to want to animate with. Um, right now there's only one frame. Don't worry about anything what it says right now. We don't really care about that. Where you're going to want to go down is right here. This little button that says new slash duplicate state. What will happen here is Sonic will disappear. Don't freak out. You didn't delete anything. You're opening a new state. Right here. Now what this is going to be the second frame of animation. Now what I like to do here is click this little thing and click back because it's going to create a little ghost of the previous frame of Sonic. So you can have a reference frame to work with so you don't have a jittery or unsmooth like animations. Now 
the default when you open fireworks for like the first time they're gonna have it where you can accidentally edit him this will be a little thing over here called onion skinning you're gonna want to take it off there's a thing called multi-state editing if that's on you can edit the frame before in state one before you can actually like you can edit it even though you're in the second state I really hate that because it can really screw up your animations if you're not doing it right I would uncheck that but as long as you click the little little upside down triangle thing here on state one it should give you the, the preview anyway we'll go back to our sprite sheet here and take the second frame of animation cut him paste him in oopsie ignore that I have no idea why it's doing that that's probably why a uh, layer wasn't there I guess if that ever happens to you make sure you have your layers but I pasted him in we will put him and line him in I usually like to use the shoes as a reference you can use the directional keys to make it more precise make sure he's all lined in and then open up the third state and keep on going and I'm gonna sit here and be silent for a second as I keep copying all these in making the animation because it will only take a short while these things will happen relatively quickly if once you get a little bit better at it uh, the thing I like to do here with making gifs instead of importing animations all the time is you can save them and always export them later so if you have easy looping animations um, you can save them and you'll never have to make them again even though I am making them again right now but just for the tutorial's sake so now that we have all the frames we need because this is a new animation star we are not going to want to mess with that do not press new duplicate state or else when you preview it which is the little play button down here you'll have him blink and you do not want that so make sure you do not do that but what you're going to want to is do press play to see if you did it right if he plays the animation that looks like he's supposed to like in the in the game he's from which is his idol stance from Sonic Battle it should look fluid and nice and you should be ready to export it so before we export it actually we're going to want to fix the canvas this is why we do the canvas later what you're going to want to go to is modify canvas fit canvas now what this will do is shrink and extend the canvas to fit exactly the amount of, of width and height that needed for Sonic Sprite to be. This will help compress file space and actually open any pixel that would um, appear in the animation because in our canvas before, for mine anyway, uh, his head kind of clipped off at the top. This will now make it so his head doesn't clip off at the top. So when we play, he plays perfectly. So now we are ready to export him and save him into a special folder. What you're going to want to go here is now go hit File. And don't hit Export. Hit Image Preview. This is a little important. Because this is this is how you know the, the, the animated GIF will actually be animated. Because you're going to want to click on Format and Animated GIF. Now here comes another tricky part. You're going to want to go down here and click on Alpha Transparency because that's what makes him transparent. We don't want no white background. I don't know why he does this consistently every single time you open the program, but you're going to want to do that every time. Make sure that always says Alpha Transparency. Now, if the, if the sprite is too small to see, if it still has a white background, I like to zoom in so you can actually see that those little gray and white squares are in the background. That means it's transparent. If you want to make sure it's still animated, you can click the play button here. So now you're ready to uh, export it. You just have to click export. As you can see, I already have a bunch of preset animations, which you should have downloaded in my description. If the file ever got taken down on my mega upload, well, it's not mega upload, my media fire, I will probably re upload it just for this video. But since I do already have this thing, I like to sub um, name these things. Like you can see, that says Sonic Skidding. Sonic Spin, they're all preset names so they're easier to find. I keep them in folders for each and every character. So Sonic has his own folder, Tails has his own folder, Shadow has his own folder, etc. So what you're going to want to do is name up something. I'll call it Sonic Stance or something like that. I already have him saved on here so I'm not going to. But now he should be saved into your folder ready to be imported into Flash. So now what we're going to do is go back to our flash folder make sure 
Well, that's set as 24 frames per second. I like to do 30, but you can do whatever you want. Before we do anything, we're going to hit File, Import, Import to Library. Don't do Import to Stage. I don't remember what happens when it happens. I always do Import to Library. Uh, import to Library because it's always archived in the library. You're going to want to find your Sonic Stance. I'm going to have to look through here for a second because there's so many of them. Dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee dum 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 dee dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee dee dum dee dum dee dee dum 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 I probably passed it. Sonic Fight Stance. There we go. I found it. You're gonna want to open it. Now, as you see, nothing was imported into the canvas at all. That's that's just actually a good thing because you want to want to go over here and click on Library. And you'll see a whole bunch of images here. These are the animations that imported from the GIF. And it also imported a symbol. The symbol will play the, all the images together, so it'll actually play the full looping animation. Now, what I like to do here is rename it. So I'll right click it, rename it to like the Sonic Fight Stance, so you can use it later down the line if he ever does it later in the animation. You can always just go into your library, type in Sonic, and it'll narrow down to the things you've named Sonic just so you can stay organized. This is just a personal thing I like to do. But now, we're gonna see if this actually imported correctly. So we're gonna just drag it into the canvas. I'm gonna make it bigger. I hit Q so I can hit the transform button. And then where you wanna go to is Control Test Movie, which is a shortcut, it will be Control Enter. I'll be doing this all the time. And if he plays just like how the, he, get, he played in the GIF, that's good, you did it right. That is very, very good. Now, this part one will probably end right here because ne the next parts I'm going to explain will require a lot more talking. And it'll deal with things called like motion tweening and V-cam setup so you can use a motion camera in your canvas without having to rely on moving everything in the picture at once. But uh, yeah, that is how you import your own custom made GIF into Flash and use it and make sure it worked so uh hope you guys will stay tuned for part two and i will see you guys on the next one bye